This one is happening in Owere. It's happening in Owere in what bank? This video, which recently dominated the social media space, attracted the attention of most Nigerians. The incident, which according to the narrator, occurred at a location in World Bank area of Imo State, captured the children allegedly being maltreated by their stepmother, with one of them in chains. This resulted in the intervention of the Nigeria Police Imo State Command, leading to the rescue of Kelechi Wosu, age 7, in an uncompleted security post alongside two of his siblings, said to be between the ages of 11 and 9 years. We are aware of uh, the incident and... Um... It was on a tip of Commissioner of Police directed uh, the DPO, New Owere, to move to the area. On getting there, surprisingly, they met three children, one on chain with two bad padlocks used in locking it. They were looking malnourished and unkept. Immediately, the rescue team that went there rescued the kids, arrested the parents. Because of the, the, the condition the children were met, they took them immediately to a nearby hospital where they were given uh, medical uh, attention. DPO then, uh, in conjunction with the Ministry of uh, Women Affairs, took the kids to an orphanage home where they were kept. While the suspects were initially kept in police custody for interrogation, the culprits, Chimeze Nwosu and Gloria Nwosu, were arraigned at the magistrate court one Owere, with the actual mother of the children, Gloria Nwosu, present for hearing. Although they were granted bail to the tune of 600,000 naira, among other bail conditions, the defendant could not meet up with the requirements, hence their return to police custody. However, the magistrate has transferred the case to the family court for determination of the custody and welfare of the children. After granting a bail to the defendant, made an application that the matter be transferred to family court. Let the family court handle it and let the counsel in the matter bring the proper application so that the, the welfare and the custody of the children will better be handled at the family court. Okachi Oka is the coordinator, National Human Rights Commission, Imo State. She contravenes the rights of the children in different ways. Their right to parental care was also infringed on, their right to education. The woman also tampered with their right, of, uh, right to survival and development. Although the case has been adjourned to August 16, 2022, the police public relations officer Michael Abatam affirmed that the children have been handed over to their biological mother through the Imo State Ministry of Women Affairs and Social Development.